hello and thank you for joining me in today's video if you are new to my channel you are very much welcome here if you're not new i appreciate you for coming back as promised we are setting up our spread for the month of february so you can join me and make your february spread as well if you haven't or you can just grab your favorite snack and enjoy the video For my cover page, I've decided to go for the blue background. I am actually reusing this piece that I worked on nights before and I didn't want to throw it away so I recycled it by painting another layer of blue before sketching my design. I'm using the Hemi gouache jelly cup paint and I actually did an unboxing and if you're interested I'll leave the link up there on the screen so feel free to watch it. After painting another layer and waited for it to dry, I sketched lightly so I know where I want my design to go. Now I'm using the gold metallic pen from My Metal in 0.7 just to ink my design. I've messed up the mouth, so I'm just going to go ahead and cover that with white paint and do a tulip. Now I'm just adding the quote of the month which I have the power to create the life I desire and some finishing touches. Now we're moving on to my weekly spread. The paper that I'm using is A6 dotted but I'm going to change things up for this month as you can see I'm folding my paper into half to give myself more space for future tasks. I've decided to switch things up because my previous spreads are usually compact like the one on the screen and this month, I know I will need more space for all the future tasks that I know I will have. Now I'm just marking the spot where I want to write my dates with pencil before writing it with pen. I've decided to use a YouTube tracker for this spread so I can figure out my schedule. For my goals and motivation page, I wanted something vibrant, so I went ahead and painted an ombre from light pink to red. But before you criticize my work, I know it's very crusty. I'm very new to gouache and I've been using it for less than a month, so my blending skills is still super rough, but we'll get there.
While waiting for the other page to dry, I'm going to trim the sides of my cover page so I can paste it on my paper. Now that the paint is all dry, I'm going to use some excess paper where I will write goals and motivation. Since I didn't like the lower part of this page, I will put the YouTube tracker at the bottom to cover it up and also to save me some paper. Moving along, we have my gratitude page. I'm keeping this super simple with minimal design at the bottom because I want enough space to write the things that I'm really grateful for. And we're all done. Let me just assemble this. One sec. If you guys are still here, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate you. If you enjoyed yourself, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos.